Another way to another way to soften skin is to use a high pass effect. Now normally we use high pass to, sh to sharpen, right? For example, if I did control J on this on the duplicate the layer and I went to filter other high pass and I clicked okay and I changed the top to say overlay or even soft light, you know, it, it's sharper, right? And it might even be too sharp with something like the overlay. Do soft light, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you a way to use this to invert the effect though, so it actually softens the skin instead of making it sharper. So go ahead and open up prog.jpg or any portrait photo that we want to soften the skin of. Then press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. So press Control I or Command I on the Mac, Control I on the PC. That inverts it, so it looks like a negative. Now let's change the layer blending mode though to overlay, and it doesn't look good right now. All right, we're gonna change this effect though. So go ahead and go to Filter, Other, and then High Pass. And let's do about eight pixels for this effect if you're using this photo. And click OK. And so that's really blurry, right? And we could adjust the opacity and try to use that, but we can actually add a blur and it's going to get rid of some of that heavy blur. I know that doesn't seem to make sense, but if you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and if I bring all the way to the left, it doesn't do much, right? If I bring all the way to the right, it sharpens it. So it's actually having the opposite effect. Why is that? Well, that's because we inverted it. So it's having an inverse effect. So let's go to about maybe one pixel, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think for this one, it's not that large of a file. I think one pixel should be fine. Uh, maybe even, uh, maybe two pixels. Make it not as uh, blurry. All right, then click OK, and then hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, add a layer mesh to this top one, and we just need to paint some white in with a soft edge brush, just like we did with the first method of skin softening. All right, just around these areas, not along. The areas that would need detail, like the mouth, and the nostrils and some of these lines here in the edges. We don't want to soften those areas, but I think these smile lines here are fine to soften. And again, we can alt click and adjust the mask that way as well. Alt click the alt or option click the mask. So there you go, and you can bring the opacity down if you want uh, something like 90%. I think on this example looks pretty good. It just softens the skin a little bit, but still retaining some of the texture underneath.